Steve the Mac Guy here and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about screenshots in Mac OS. You probably already know that you can take a screenshot of the entire screen by hitting Command Shift and the number 3 all at the same time. And that's fine if you just want to do something like show your screen to someone in tech support. You may also know that to select just a portion of the screen that you can hit Command Shift and 4 all at the same time. The cursor will turn into crosshairs and then you can select the portion that you want. The problem with this method is when you're trying to capture a single window. Let's say you're making a presentation that includes screenshots. You want the screenshots to be nice and neat. It can be a real pain trying to select a single window without part of the desktop showing around the edges. No matter how close to the edge you draw the box, you'll always get a bit of the desktop in the corners because in Mac OS, most windows have rounded corners. If you want to capture a single window, there's another method that a lot of people don't know about. If you hit Command, Shift, and 4 all at the same time, and then hit the spacebar, the cursor will turn into a camera and it will only capture the element that you hover over and click on. This method is most commonly used to capture a single window, but it also works on menus and the menu bar. Another tip that isn't commonly known is how to change the location where screenshots are saved. By default, screenshots go to the desktop and they can create a cluttered mess. If you keep a lot of files and folders on your desktop, it can be difficult to find your latest screenshots. To change the default save location, you have to use a terminal command. The first thing you need to do is create a folder for your screenshots. I just made a folder called Screenshots in my Documents folder. Once you've created the folder, type the following terminal command. Defaults write com.apple.screencapture location followed by a space. Now you can type the path to the folder, but the easiest way to finish the command is to drag and drop the folder into the terminal window. It'll automatically insert the path to the folder. Hit return, and now when you take a screenshot, it should go to the folder you specified. I'll include the terminal command in the video description. The next tip is how to get rid of the drop shadow around window screenshots. By default, the drop shadow is captured along with windows and menus. If you don't want the drop shadow, enter the following terminal command. Defaults write com.apple.screencapture disable dash shadow dash bool true and then hit return. Of course to change it back you would just change true to false. For this change to take effect you'll also have to run the command kill all system UI server. Now when you take a screenshot you'll get just the window without the drop shadow. The last tip is how to change the default file type of your screenshots. By default, screenshots are saved as PNG files. But you can change the file type by entering the following terminal command. Defaults write com.apple.screencapture type followed by the file type. For this example, I'll use JPEG. So the type is JPG. I'll include a list of available file types along with the terminal command in the video description. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up, and if you found it helpful, feel free to share it. Don't forget to subscribe for more Mac and iOS tips.